coming back a little bit of a distance. Hello students of Patel College of Global Sustainability at the University of South Florida. Welcome to our open house. I'm sorry that I can't be with you today. I'm working on sustainable tourism right now, as you can see, and looking at the health of the coral reefs here in Elguna Hergada in southern Egypt on the Red Sea. Just finished our first dive. It is absolutely spectacular. The health of the reef uh, really was impressive. I haven't dived here in about 10 years or more and it's really great to see that the coral is intact and the fish populations are thriving. We saw three beautiful spotted eagle rays right at the beginning of the dive. We saw some immense needlefish along what looked like a carpet of descending corals of various different species. There's great staghorn coral, there's fire coral, there's brain coral, there's, uh, there's uh, the, um, I can't get all the names in my head, uh, just a plethora of different coral species. There's purple corals and blue corals and yellow corals and orange corals and red corals. It's a riot of colors and a riot of fish. It's just uh, abundance and life and they're doing a very good job here. All the boats, you can see that boat over there, uh, tie off onto anchors that are uh, set that they place down on the seafloor so that there's only rope tie. There's no more throwing of anchors, therefore no damage to the reef. Uh, despite the large number of tourist boats that come for people to snorkel and dive, no damage is done to the reef. They have very strict safety standards. They do a great job of instructing people in uh, environmental safety and environmental awareness. And uh, you see behind me here this, this plateau, this table reef. We're about, about 12, 13 meters down. Uh, at the bottom here with a, a big current and all along the sides are these incredible walls filled with life and we're going to go now you uh, that way is towards Saudi Arabia and that way is Egypt so the Red Sea is between Egypt and Saudi Arabia here so Saudi Arabia is out that way we're going to head towards Saudi Arabia we're not going to get that far uh, there's another big massive coral head out by that boat over there because the current is so strong on the outside, we're going to swim inside over, descend and do our dive, come around. The boat's going to arrive over there to meet us, and then we're going to jump on the boat uh, before the boat drifts out to sea because it's quite windy. However, despite the cold up here, the water is a really nice 22, 23 degrees Celsius with a full wetsuit. It feels like bath water, so it's really comfortable. The visibility is astonishing. You can see for about uh, 30, 40 meters easily. So it's beautiful aquamarine and, and deep blues, and then the riotous purples and reds, and oranges and yellows, with the spectacular colors of these enormous fish. Um, a great place to dive if you're looking for a sustainable tourism experience. You can't do better than the Alcuna Nagata part of the Red Sea in southern Egypt. And I, uh, I salute you all for joining our program. Me and others in your faculty seeing how we humans can make our environments better rather than worse once we have sustainability consciousness and nexus thinking. Cheers to you.